హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ in this lecture let us understand a problem on overlap save method here we need to find the output of linear filter whose impulse response is given and also the input sequence is given using overlap save method here you can observe that the value of n is not given the impulse response h of n is given which is 1 2 So the length of h of n is m is equal to 2. Since n is not given, we can find the value of n by using the formula 2 to the power of m. So we can substitute the value of m. So it will be 2 to the power of 2. So from this, we can say n is equal to 4. Now we can find the value of l by using the formula n is equal to m plus l minus 1. So here we can substitute the values of m and n, we will get the value of l. So it will be equal to 4 equals 2 plus m minus 1. So from this we can say l is equal to 3. So here you need to remember since the value of n is not given, we have used this formula. So if the value of n is given, so we can use this formula directly and we can find the value of l. Now the value of n and l are very important for us. Since l is equal to 3, from the input, we can take the block of 3 values and we can make the sequence. So let us write x1 of n by taking first 3 values of x of n, which is 1, 2, minus 1. Similarly, we can write x2 of n by taking the next 3 values, which is 2, 3, minus 2. We can find x3 of n by taking the next three values of x of n, which is minus 3, minus 1, and 1. Then we can find x4 of n by taking next three values of x of n, which is 1, 2, minus 1. So this sequence is written based on the value of l if l is equal to 4 we need to take four values from the input sequence to make the sequence x1 x2 x3 and x4 so after writing these sequences next step is to perform shift operation on these sequences to get the new sequences so we can find x1 of n by shifting this sequence one position so we can write 1 2 minus 1 the first position we can write it as 0 then we can find x2 of n by shifting minus 1 here we can write minus 1 then we can write the sequence of x2 of n so we can write 2 3 minus 2 then we can find x3 of n then we can shift minus 2 in the first position here we can write minus 2 then we can write the values minus 3 minus 1 1 then we can find x4 of n let us shift 1 to this first position so we will get 1 and let us write the sequence x4 of n it is 1 2 minus 1 now this value minus 1 is left out which is uh, to be shifted to this position so for that purpose we will write one more sequence x5 of n and we'll write minus 1 then we can write 0 0 and 0 so here you need to write these sequences until each value of the sequence is shifted so here we have written the last sequence because this minus 1 is left out that's why we have shifted this minus 1 here and then we have written the values as 0 so we got the sequence x1 of n that will be equal to 0 1 2 minus 1 x2 of n that will be equal to minus 1 2 3 minus 2 then x3 of n that will be equal to minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 1 x4 of n that will be equal to 1 1 2 minus 1 and x5 of n 
that will be equal to minus 1 0 0 and 0 so this length of the sequence depend upon the value of n that is equal to 4 so we got this sequence as n is equal to 4 so each sequence is having the value as 4 corresponding to x1 of n we can find y1 of n that is the circular convolution of x1 of n and h of n similarly we can find y2 of n y3 of n y4 of n and y5 of n which is circular convolution of the sequence with h of n now first let us find y1 of n that is the circular convolution of x1 of n and h of n to perform this operation we will first write x1 of n in matrix form by using circular shift so what we have done first we will write the sequence x1 of n 0 1 2 minus 1 then we will shift this 0 to one position and we will write 0 1 2 and minus 1 and then we will shift this sequence one position so we will write 0 1 2 minus 1 and finally we will shift this 0 to one position and we will write 1 2 and minus 1 so this matrix is written in circular shift form then we will write the sequence h of n which is 1 2 0 and 0 now we will multiply these the sequence to get the values if we multiply these matrix we will get the values as minus 2 1 4 and 3 here you need to remember in overlap save method this first value we need to neglect and we need to take other values in the obtained sequence similarly we can find the value of y2 of n by taking the circular convolution of x2 of n with h of n here we will write the sequence x2 of n in matrix form by using circular shift that is multiplied with h of n so we will obtain the values as minus 5 0 7 and 4 so again here we should neglect the first value and we need to take the other values in the sequence now let us find y3 of n that will be equal to circular convolution of x3 of n with h of n here x3 of n is written in the circular shift way in matrix form that is multiplied with h of n so we will obtain the values 0 minus 7 minus 7 and minus 1 so let us uh, neglect the first value and we will keep other values in the sequence now let us find y4 of n that is circular convolution of x4 of n with h of n write x4 of n in matrix form in circular shift that is multiplied with h of n so we will get the values as minus 1 3 4 and 3 so let us neglect the first value in the sequence so finally we will find y5 of n that is circular convolution of x5 of n with h of n to find this let us write x5 of n in matrix form using circular shift that is multiplied with h of n and we will get the values as minus 1 minus 2 0 and 0 here again we will neglect the first value in the sequence and we will keep the other values in the next step we will write y1 of n by taking the sequence 1 4 3 so once you write this sequence we can write y2 of n after the sequence y1 of n and we can write the values 0 7 and 4 and y3 of n is written after y2 of n and the values are minus 7 minus 7 and minus 1 y4 of n is written after y3 of n by taking the values 3 4 and 3 and y5 of n is written after the sequence y4 of n and the value is minus 2 0 and 0 now we need to take these values in one sequence and we need to write so we can write 1 4 3 0 7 4 minus 7 minus 7 minus 1 3 4 3 minus 2 0 and 0 so this sequence which is obtained 
is the final output of the linear filter which is y of n that is obtained by performing convolution of x of n with h of n so we can write the same sequence here this is about the problem on overlap save method hope you have understood the topic thank you